Hello students, I am your 10 minute teacher. I will teach you mathematics for 10 minutes. Are you ready? The next mathematics lesson that I will explain to you for 10 minutes is factoring polynomials with sum and difference of two cubes. But first, we need to go back on some concepts on mathematics such as cube root of a number. As we all know, that x times x times x is equal to x cube. And take note that the cube root of x cube is equal to x. As well as, 2 times 2 times 2 is equal to 8. And the cube root of 8 is equal to 2. And the 3y times 3y times 3y is equal to 27y cube. And the cube root of 27y cube is equal to 3y. Aside from the cube root of a number, we need to understand also the concept of multiplying binomial to a polynomial. Let us take this as an example. We have the quantity of x plus y quantity times the quantity of x squared minus xy plus y squared. Using distributive property, we have x cubed minus x squared y plus xy squared plus x squared y minus xy squared plus y cubed. As you can observe, that there are terms that are the same, but difference signs, so we can cancel them out. Such as negative x squared y and positive x squared y, they can be cancelled out. As well as the positive xy squared and the negative xy squared, they can be cancelled out. So, the remaining product of given expression is x cubed plus y cubed. Let us take this another example. We have the quantity of x minus y quantity times the quantity of x squared plus xy plus y squared. Using distributive property, we have x cubed plus x squared y plus xy squared minus x squared y minus xy squared minus y cubed. As you can observe, that there are terms that are the same but difference signs, so we can cancel them out. Such as positive x squared y and negative x squared y, they can be cancelled out. As well as the positive xy squared and the negative xy squared, they can be cancelled out. So, the remaining product of given expression is x cubed minus y cubed. Now, I want you to observe the given factors from the previous examples and to its corresponding product. You are correct, the products are the sum and difference of two cubes. Since, our lesson is factoring polynomial with sum and difference of two cubes. We need to find the factors of the given product, by just following the patterns given. If you encounter an expression, sum of two cubes, you will just remember this pattern for its factors. The quantity of x plus y quantity times the quantity of x squared minus xy plus y squared quantity. If you encounter an expression, difference of two cubes, you will just remember this pattern for its factors. The quantity of x minus y quantity times the quantity of x squared plus xy plus y squared quantity. To determine if the given binomial can be factored out using sum and difference of 2 cube, just take note of these. 1. The expression should be a binomial. 2nd, The terms should be perfect cube. If the conditions are met, you need to follow the steps in factoring polynomial with sum and difference of 2 cubes. First solve for the cube root of the first and last terms. Second, follow the format. For sum of cubes, we have the quantity of x plus y quantity times the quantity of x squared minus xy plus y squared quantity. For difference of cubes, we have the quantity of x minus y quantity times the quantity of x squared plus xy plus y squared quantity. Now let us try this example. 
x cubed plus 8. First, let us examine the given. Does the expression is a binomial? Yes. Does the terms are perfect cube? Yes. Since the conditions are met, we can factor this expression using sum and difference of two cubes. Step 1, solve for the perfect cube root of the first and second terms. So we have, for x cube, the cube root of x cube, is equal to x. For 8, the cube root of 8, is equal to 2. For step 2, since the operation in the given expression is plus, so we will use the sum of two cubes, which is x cubed plus y cubed, is equal to, the quantity of x plus y quantity, times the quantity of x squared, minus xy, plus y squared quantity. For the first factor which is a binomial factor, we have x plus 2. For the second factor, which is a trinomial factor, we have x squared, minus 2 times x, plus 2 squared. Then we need to simplify, x squared, minus 2 times x is 2x, plus the square of 2 is 4. So, the factors of x cubed plus 8, is equal to, the quantity of x plus 2 quantity, times the quantity of, x squared minus 2x plus 4 quantity. Now let us try another example. 27x cubed minus 1000. First, let us examine the given. Does the expression is a binomial? Yes. Does the terms are perfect cube? Yes. Since the conditions are met, we can factor this expression using sum and difference of two cubes. Step 1, solve for the perfect cube root of the first and second terms. So we have, for 27x cubed, the cube root of 27x cubed, is equal to 3x. For 1000, the cube root of 1000, is equal to 10. For step 2, since the operation in the given expression is subtraction, so we will use the difference of two cubes, which is x cubed minus y cubed, is equal to, the quantity of x minus y quantity, times the quantity of x squared, plus xy, plus y squared quantity. For the first factor which is a binomial factor, we have 3x minus 10. For the second factor, which is a trinomial factor, we have 3x squared, plus 3x times 10, plus 10 square. Then we need to simplify, the square of 3x, is 9x squared, plus 3x times 10, is equal to 30x, plus the square of 10 is 100. So, the factors of 27x cubed minus 1000, is equal to, the quantity of 3x minus 10 quantity, times the quantity of, 9x squared plus 30x plus 100 quantity. Now let us try this last example. 64m raised to the power of 6, minus 8n cubed. First, let us examine the given. Does the expression is a binomial? Yes. Does the terms are perfect cube? Yes. Since the conditions are met, we can factor this expression using sum and difference of two cubes. Step 1, solve for the perfect cube root of the first and second terms. So we have, for 64m raised to the power of 6, the cube root of 64m raised to the power of 6, is equal to 4m squared. For 8n cubed, the cube root of 8n cubed, is equal to 2n. For step 2, since the operation in the given expression is subtraction, so we will use the difference of two cubes, which is x cubed minus y cubed, is equal to, the quantity of x minus y quantity, times the quantity of x squared, plus xy, plus y squared quantity. For the first factor which is a binomial factor, we have 4m squared minus 2n. For the second factor, which is a trinomial factor, we have the square of 4m squared, plus 4m squared times 2n, 
plus the square of 2n. Then we need to simplify. The square of 4m squared is 16m raised to the power of 4, plus 4m squared times 2n is equal to 8m squared n, plus the square of 2n is 4n squared. So, the factors of 64m raised to the power of 6, minus 8n cube, is equal to, the quantity of 4m squared minus 2n quantity, times the quantity of, 16m raised of the power of 4n squared, plus 8m squared n, plus 4n squared quantity. That's it, we are done in factoring polynomials with sum and difference of two cubes. See you next video.